Hey everyone, welcome to Chris Eyes Top 5. On today's episode, we're doing something a little crazy. That's right, I said crazy. See, today's topic is the best supernatural shows on television, and there was just way too many to only do five, so for today's episode, a special Top 10. Number 10. So at number 10, we have Bitten. This is a show about werewolves and it airs on Sci-Fi Channel. Um, it's currently filming their second season. Uh, so that should be coming around. I, I don't know if they're showing it in, you know, if it's gonna be September, October, if it's gonna be January. Last year was January, so I kind of expect that. Uh, but anyway, it's besides the point. So it's basically about a pack of werewolves. You have, you have pack wolves and you have non-pack wolves and they do not like each other. Pack wolves are the ones in charge, they make all the rules, and when the one's not in the pack, if they don't follow the rules, then the pack comes and kills them. Yeah, it's not a very forgiving uh, way of life. Um, but anyway, in the pack is Elena, and she is a female werewolf, and this is a huge, huge deal, because women just are, aren't werewolves. There hasn't been one, she's like the first one. Make it, I know she will. No, she won't. No woman has ever survived the change. But the best that we can hope for is me to stay with her until the change kills her. Change kills her. Change kills her. Uh, basically, what, what it seems like is like uh, when a werewolf bites a human, they go through this whole transformation thing, and it's like really, really rough on the body, and most people die, especially women. Like every time a woman's bit, she's died until Elena came along. So they're very, very protective of her. The rogue wolves want her. The pack wolves want to protect her, but she has a mind of her own and she's like, fuck everybody, I want to live my life, I didn't choose to be a werewolf, so fuck off. And she goes and she leaves. Um, and because she's like the girl, I guess everybody makes this like big deal about her, so they kind of give her a little leeway. Because the truth is, like, you're really not supposed to leave. If you're a pack, you're a pack, you stay with the pack. But, like I said, she's, she's a girl and she gets special treatment, so she goes off. And then basically there's this like war going on between the, the pack wolves and the non-pack wolves because the pack wolves make all the rules, non-pack wolves don't want to follow them. They don't like it, they fight each other, it's kind of crazy. But a little bit about the show that you know that I want to kind of stress to people is it's, it's on Netflix, number one, so you can totally go check it out. Uh, I suggest you do so because it is a really good show. Well, it becomes a really good show. The first couple episodes are boring as hell. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you about that. Um, so just keep just keep that in mind when you're watching it. Uh, I can remember watching it, and you know, it's about werewolves. So I was like, whatever, I'll, I'll check it out. And it happened to be on right before Being Human, which is sadly over. But that's beside the point. <clears throat> Um, watching the first couple episodes, it, it was pretty slow moving, it was a little boring, um, and, you know, but I kind of was like, you know what, I'll just keep watching it and maybe it'll get better, we'll see. Uh, so that's what I did, and I can remember probably around, you know, episode five, I would say, five or six, uh, it started picking up, and, and I believe it was episode six where I was, so I watched, you know, I would watch that episode, and it was so good that I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch the next one. Uh, oh, that was really good too. I'm gonna watch the next one. Totally she's just watching it, so check it out on Netflix. Watch season one, get ready for season two, because I just found out today, actually, that season two is bringing on witches, um, which I knew was gonna happen. It's basically the world of Bitten. The first season was all werewolves. I think the second season, like, it's, like I said, is gonna bring on witches. And I, I think at some point vampires come in and it kind of becomes this whole supernatural world of beings and stuff. So, you know, I'm pretty psyched. Uh, I'm looking forward to season two. So like, go check it out. Number nine. So number nine, we have Dominion. This is another sci-fi channel show and it's basically angels versus humans. And it's set, you know, a little bit into the future where there's a war going on between the two. Uh, I'm not gonna go into as much detail about Dominion because I kind of talked about it a little bit more in a previous video. So if you want to go check that out, uh, it's right there. And uh, you can, you know, hear more about it. It's a pretty awesome show. It's in its first season, which is why it kind of gets the number nine slot. I think I would have put it a little higher if it had two good seasons under its belt instead of just the one. 
So that's why it's at number nine. And yeah, it's awesome. So go watch it. Number eight. So at number eight, we have The Vampire Diaries. This is a CW show and it's about vampires. Well, there's also werewolves and witches and ghosts and a lot of other supernatural beings. So if you like that stuff, you probably like the show. It's based around the Salvatore brothers, which is uh, Damon and Stefan, and this girl Elena, who, well, basically both brothers love her, and you know, it's like a giant love triangle, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on. But it's basically a vampire show. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, and no, I didn't really like this last season all that much. I'm hoping next season is way, way better. If this list if I had made this video two three years ago I'm not gonna say it would be number one but it would definitely be probably top it would probably be top five because it was really good when it had the original vampires on it those are I, I thought was a really good story arc but you know the the original went on to make their own show and well talk more about that later. Vampire Diaries is actually on Netflix still, so if you haven't watched it and you want to catch up and you want a vampire show to watch, just check it out. Uh, I believe it's going into a season six in October. So, you know, if you have plenty of time to catch up, go on Netflix, check it out. Vampire Diaries, number eight. Number seven. <laughs> Mr. Langston? What's this about? Did your son go missing, sir? Why? I haven't. My son died 32 years ago. What's well, running green and goes a million miles per hour? Frog in a blender. Daddy! Huh? Honey, who is it? Jacob. So number seven, we have Resurrection. This is a show about people coming back from the dead. Uh, it takes place in a little small town where it seems that this is the only place where this is happening and no one really understands why it's happening. But it starts off where it's just like a couple people here and there popping up that have been dead for anywhere from like a couple months to a couple decades. And no one really understands why. It shows, I guess, people at their worst. Um, because as you can imagine, when people don't understand something, it's never a good thing. Again, it's a really good show. Uh, I suggest going back and catching up if you like that. It's very, it's a high drama show, and it's just like the whole thing is very intriguing. I know we all know it has something to do with water. I think. <laughs> so I guess we don't know, but uh, you should totally check it out. Uh, it ranked number seven. So yeah, Resurrection. Watch it. Number six. At number six, we have Haven. Again, another sci-fi channel show, um, which is not surprising considering, you know, sci-fi, supernatural kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, but anyway, Haven is based in a town called Haven and a lot of weird stuff goes on, which they call the Troubles. Basically, it's people, either knowingly or not, have what they call a trouble. And it's some type of power or superpower that, you know, Sometimes it's somebody that can control the weather. Other people can control you know, fire, or they touch you and it causes pain, or they have no feeling. It's just, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things, and it's kind of like each week there's a different person who comes along with a different trouble, and there's cops that have to take care of that, and they, they fight the troubles and try to figure them out and stop them from destroying the town, which seems to be what happens a lot. The only gripe with it is that it's kind of a short season, it's a 13 episode season, and I find a lot that I, I it's spread too thin. I really wish there was more. Uh, I would love to see like a 24 episode season. I think that would make like a huge, huge difference. But with that being said, it's still an amazing show. I totally suggest watching it. Uh, it is on Netflix if you want to catch up. It'll be starting season five coming in the fall. So definitely check that out on Sci-Fi. And yeah, Haven. Awesome, check it out. Number five. So number five, we have Hemlock Grove. Uh, this is a Netflix original series. It's uh, It's got two seasons. The second season just started back in July. Uh, so if you have Netflix, you can go on, check it out. 
Uh, I talk about it in a lot more detail in my last video, so I'm not going to put as much into it now. So if you, if you want to hear more about it, just go check that out. And uh, it's the, the best summer shows you should be watching right now. So if you're not watching it, well, you should be. So go do it. Uh, anyway, it is werewolves and vampires, but in this show the vampires are called Upir. Uh, basically you have two friends, uh, one werewolf, one vampire, and they work together to kind of try to figure out what's going on in their town and their area. Um, there's always some type of subplot where it's like, you know, a great evil type thing, and they work together to conquer it, and that's kind of what happens in season one and it's the same thing in season two both really good seasons really good show you should check it out number four so number four we have the originals um this is the highest ranking uh show that i have where it's only just showed its first season but it was a really good first season uh it show it's on C, it's on the cw and uh it's a spin-off of the vampire diaries for a thousand years my family searched the world for a place to call home finding it in a muddy patch of land called New Orleans. So, to give you a little breakdown of it, the originals are the original vampires. They showed up in the Vampire Diaries a couple seasons ago to kind of wreak havoc. And at first there was five of them, but two of them were killed off in the Vampire Diaries. So now, with the three that are left, leave Mystic Falls and they go to New Orleans, which is where the originals takes place. In New Orleans right now, there are vampires that are currently you know the kings of everything and then the originals come in and they're like hey we're the originals we should be in charge so at first there's like that fighting between them and then it kind of broadens out as you get to know other characters because there's also other factions like there's a wearable faction there's a witch faction and there's a human faction and they're kind of all you know, some are working together, others are working against each other, but it's pretty much like a giant shit cluster fuck of fighting going on uh, between all of them. So anyway, you have the original vampires, which is just that they are the original vampires, the one that, you know, they spawned all the other vampires that are in the world. Uh, but it's a really, really good show. Um, I love the originals when they were on the Vampire Diaries. I think that was the best story arc of that show. And like I had mentioned earlier, it was a real uh, a downslide in the Vampire Diaries once the spinoff happened. Which, you know, it sucks for the Vampire Diaries because I think it made the show a little bit worse there. But it's great for this because the originals came and I love it. It's one of my favorite shows on TV. Uh, I know it's only been one season, but I'm hoping the second season is just as good as the first. I kind of, I'm not really doubting that it will be. The Originals is a great show. I suggest watching it. It did air on Tuesday nights in the CW. I'm not sure if it's going to stay in that time slot for season two, uh, but definitely, you know, check your listings, find out, you know, it'll probably be back September, October, somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, if you want to go back, catch up on season one, get yourself prepared, because when season two starts, I have no doubt it's going to be awesome. The Originals, number four, check it out. Number three. Dad wants us to pick up where he left off. Saving people, hunting things, the family business. So in number three, we have the namesake of this, really, which is Supernatural. Uh, it's a show that airs on the CW. It, last season was on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock. I am not sure if it's going to stay that way. Um, it's been moved around a bunch of times. But, you know, they keep trying to kill it, but it never goes away. It just never goes away. <laughs> keeps getting really good ratings for CW, so they keep pumping them out. Um, it's going into its 10th season this year, which for uh, a Supernatural-based show is saying a lot, because they don't last that long, ever. Um, but this one follows two brothers, Sam and Dean Winchester, and they fight monsters. Uh, they're basically raised in this world where demons and vampires and werewolves and all this other crazy shit exists and uh, 
basically their mother is killed by a demon and you spend the first couple seasons with them <clears throat> trying to reconnect with their father as all three of them are hunting this one demon who killed their mother 20 something years ago uh, but it definitely it, it it moves on from that and it just it becomes a lot broader it brings in angels into the picture which is really what i consider to be the high point of their show which is seasons four and five not to say anything bad about the other seasons um but i think seasons four and five is really where it climaxed and it was just absolutely amazing if i had done this countdown back then uh, this show would have been number one no question about it i can still go back right now and watch season five and it's still absolutely amazing. Um, with that being said, it's you know it's ten seasons, so the storyline is going to get a little thin. But I still watch it every week, and I still enjoy it. So you know, I suggest doing the same. It's uh, it it is on Netflix right now. So if you want to go back, you can catch up. I believe the first eight seasons are on Netflix, so you can go check it out. Try to catch up before season ten starts on the CW coming up in the fall. Number two. Oh, my sweet summer child. What do you know about fear? Fear is for the winter, when the sun hides for years. In that darkness, the White Walkers came for the first time. So at number two, we have Game of Thrones. This is an HBO original series, and it's based off the books by George R.R. R. Martin. Uh, if you're wondering why it's on this countdown, because there's a lot of supernatural stuff that goes on in it. You have White Walkers, Dragons, Children of the Forest, Gods, Fire Gods, all these different aspects of it. But it's just an amazing show. Uh, I'm not going to go into crazy detail because I could be talking about it for like hours and hours. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I totally suggest checking it out. You can go watch all the episodes on HBO Go right now. Uh, they finished season four this year, season five will be next year. You can even read the books because you can go further in the story in the books than they've gotten on the show, even though the show's probably gonna overtake the books pretty soon. But yeah, Game of Thrones, awesome show. It's a number two, check it out. So as always, we have honorable mentions. Uh, first one is gonna be True Blood. This is an HBO show about vampires that have come out into the public and now the, the normal, regular world knows that vampires exist. And it kind of goes on where they kind of intermingle with humans and try to cohabitate, which doesn't always work very well. But to catch up on it, you can always go to HBO Go. It shows all the episodes that are up to date. So go check that out. It's a really good show. Uh, it just barely didn't make the list, but you should totally check it out. True Blood, watch it. The next show that was really close, I mean really close to being on the list, is Penny Dreadful. Do you believe there is a demi mon? A half world between what we know and what we fear. A place in the shadows, rarely seen but deeply felt. Where some unfortunate souls are cursed to live always. This is a Showtime original series. It just finished airing its first season this summer. And uh, this is a great show. I mean, it's got a lot of magic going on in it. Uh, witchcraft, vampires. And uh, it's just, it, it was a really good show. It started off kind of slow. I, I kind of took me a little while to get into it. But the last couple episodes of the season were absolutely amazing. If it had a couple more seasons under its belt, it probably would have cracked the top 10. But it didn't, so it's just an honorable mention, but it's still worth a watch. So if you can, go check it out. So at number one, we have The Walking Dead. This is an AMC show, and like the title kind of says, it's about zombies. But more than that, it's about survivors and the way they survive the zombie apocalypse. So The Walking Dead follows this group of survivors. Uh, Rick is the leader and he is you know he was a cop back before the zombie apocalypse and now he's a leader of you know this group of survivors and they're kind of in the beginning just like looking for a place to stay and it's, what really keeps the show going is like every time you think they're in a place that's safe and everything's good it never lasts and it either gets overrun by you know walkers or it gets overrun by crazy fucking assholes who are just douchebags and want to fucking kill everybody 
So it, it really, as, as much as it is about the zombie apocalypse, it's way more about how the human beings react and survive in a world like this. And it's just like amazing, it's an amazing show. There's a lot of drama, There's, it's very intense. And you, know, you watch every episode and you're kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. Because you never know, like they'll kill off like a main character and you're just like, what? Did that just happen? Like it's crazy. Anyway, it's my number one because it's definitely the show that I look forward to the most. Like every week, I'm like, oh my God, Walking Dead is on. I have to watch it. Very, very important. This show even has an after show, a full hour of show dedicated to just talking about it. <laughs> and that just tells you how big this show is, that there's a show about the show. Either way, if you haven't watched it, I totally suggest it. Uh, it airs on AMC. I believe it'll be back in October. And... You know, it's just an absolutely amazing show. There's there's nothing bad I could say about it. So watch it because I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna like it. I'll almost guarantee it. I won't guarantee it, but almost. So thanks again for watching. As always, please subscribe below. Feel free to comment, like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, there'll be more videos coming up in the future. You can also follow me on Twitter at CNOEvil21 and I'll keep you up to date on what's going on with the channel. If you haven't seen my older shows, please check them out. Here's my top five shows that were wrongfully canceled after just one season. And here's my top five shows of the summer that you should be watching right now. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.